first I use my liner brush to load gel by pulling it out. It will make your brush even. Avoid dipping your brush into your gel like this because it will make your brush uneven. Therefore, your line will also be uneven. An even brush means an even line like this. Now, I touch my brush tip onto the surface and slowly drag it out while applying pressure. To have a stable hand in line work means to have stable pressure. If you press hard, your line is going to be thicker. If you press light, your line is going to be thinner. But the pressure has to be consistent all the way through. This is how I practice my line work. Now I would draw a horizontal line. It's a different movement than the vertical line. You should practice drawing your line in every angles. To have a stable hand is really based on how focused you are with your pressure and breathing rather than the hand itself. It really is a mental thing. Do as much of these as possible. Now I will use my 10 millimeter. Remember to avoid dipping your brush like this. It will cause the gel on your brush to be uneven always pulling it out like this. Now I'll do some curved line. Remember you can always sketch lightly using the light pressure, then go back a second time with proper pressure. This brush is built to be used mostly on the upper part of the brush where the tip is rather than drag the whole body. It will help you move easier with curved lines. I want you to practice on this as much as possible. Now we will move on to the detail brush, the 7mm. Unlike the liner, which only used for dragging, the detail will allow you to have a wide range of motion. I start out by sketching my line with lighter pressure, so I will know where my line is supposed to go. It don't have to be perfect. Then I will go back with stronger pressure to make my line thicker. It's more difficult to use a detail brush than the liner brush because it's shorter, which means it's more sensitive to your hand pressure. If you shake, it will shake with you. Control breathing is very important because breathing makes our chest and shoulder move. Therefore, you have to breathe light and slow when your brush comes in contact with the surface. In exchange for being more difficult than the liner brush, you can move more with this brush but the liner brush will only have limited movement. Another thing is to never point your brush straight down to the surface. Always angle your brush and move it with the direction that it's tilted to. Then we will use a 20mm to draw some straight lines. First, I sketch a thin lines. Then make sure my brush is even and go back with stronger pressure. Then I use my 10 millimeter to draw shorter lines. This is my favorite brush because it can cover both straight and curved line, so I use it more often. It's kind of in between the 20 millimeter and the 7 millimeters. Last one is a 5 millimeters. I use this one for tiny stroke, both straight and curved. You can do the same thing with other longer brush, but you have to use only the tips. And it's harder to use only the tip on the longer brush. That's why this one is created because it's made up of a tiny little tips. Now 